Malaika and welcome to Bible class. I'm so excited to learn more about being chosen. Right, Malaika? Yes. Well, Malaika, I hope that you know what time it is right now. Do you know what the time is? Okay, tell me, tell me. Yes, it's Bible class time. Come, let's sing, Malaika. Tick tock, says the clock. We're glad that you are here. Tick tock, says the clock. God is very near. Tick tock, says the clock. It's time for Bible class. Tick tock, says the clock. To love and learn and love. Yay! Bible class time is my favorite time, Malaika. Well, Malaika, I hope that we are not the only ones who came to Bible class today. Should we have a look who else is here? I think so too. Let's have a look who is here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <gasps> it's you. And welcome to Bible class. We're so excited to have you join us today. Today at Bible class, we're going to learn more about what it means to be chosen. Right, Malaika? Yes, and we're going to learn more about that from the Bible, of course. <laughs> Should we sing our Bible word song? Should we sing our Bible word song? Do you want to sing with us? Yes, let's sing. Bible words, Bible words. Thank you, God, for Bible words. It's the truth for all to read. Thank you, God, for Bible words. I love singing our Bible words song with you and you, Malaika. <laughs> yes. Well, right now, let's open up our ears and let's close our mouths and let's go hear a story all about being chosen. Hi there, boys and girls. We've been learning about how God wants us to make wise choices and how God chooses us to be his helpers in the world. And we've been learning about how David was somebody chosen by God and how David was really, really a good king and a good leader in the way that God used him. And today we're going to learn a story about a very interesting lady named Abigail. Now, Abigail, the Bible says, was beautiful and wise, maybe a little bit like a princess, but she was married to a horrible man. His name was Nabal, and the Bible says that he was rude and mean. Abigail and Nabal lived in the mountain country near Carmel. Now, during this time, David and some of the men who were with him were living in the desert. And while they were there in the desert, they helped Nabal's farm workers to look after the sheep and they helped protect Nabal and Abigail and all the people who lived in that area. And then came that special time of the year when the people celebrated with sheep shearing. What they would do is they would get all the sheep together and they would cut the wool and then they would use the wool to make clothes. And they were able to sell the clothes and make money. So it was a special celebration when they got together for the sheep shearing. And so David and his men heard about the celebration that was going to happen at Nabal and Abigail's place. And they wanted to join in. But remember Nabal? He was rude and mean. And he said to his servants, Who's David? Who are his men? I'm not going to share with them. That's not very kind, is it? Well, David got so angry. He said to his men, Come, bring your swords. We're going to go and fight against Nabal because he has been mean to us. He wanted to get even. Is that a good or a bad thing to do? 
Hmm. Remember, chosen people are caring and kind. And David got angry and he was about to make a terrible mistake going to fight against Nabal. But remember I told you that Abigail was wise and beautiful? Abigail realized that there was a problem between her husband Nabal and David and his men. And so she went and she baked some bread and she baked some delicious raisin cakes. And before David and his men could get to their house, she went ahead and she took the cakes and the bread to David. And she bent down on her knees and she said, David and all the men who've been helping us, here is a gift from our family to you. I want to apologize that Nabal, my husband, has been so rude and that he didn't want to share. Please will you forgive us? Here, here are some bread and some cakes for you and your men to say thank you. And then she said to David, remember, chosen people are caring. It's not the right thing to do to get even. And you know what David said to her? He said to her, Abigail, you are a very wise lady. Today, you have stopped me from doing something that was foolish and stupid. You stopped me from getting even. And he said to her, your husband can be very proud to have such a good wife as you. And Abigail went back home to her mean husband, Nabal. And do you know what Nabal was doing? He was drinking lots and lots of wine until he got drunk. Hmm, that's not a wise thing to do. And the next morning, Abigail explained to him that King David and his men had nearly come to kill Nabal. Well, Nabal got such a fright that he died. And so Abigail, who was beautiful and wise, wasn't married to Nabal anymore because they buried him. And then King David came and he asked Abigail, to marry him because Abigail was wise and Abigail helped him to do the right thing and Abigail was beautiful too. And so I'm hoping that you'll remember from this story to do the right thing, just like we need to do what God has called us to do, do the right thing to help others and to be caring just like Abigail did. See you next time. Malaika! Do you think that you are caring? You do? Malaika! And you two boys and girls, do you think that we should be caring to only the people that are caring to us and the people that we like and that we are friends with? Or should we be caring to everyone? What do you think Malaika? Tell me. Yes! Well done, the like a high five. Bam! Yes! We should be caring to everyone, not just the people that know us and love us and that we know too. Even strangers should always, always be caring, even to new kids at school, right? Yes! Now, Malaika, I have another question for you. How can you be caring? Do you know couple of ways that we can be caring and show care to other people. Okay, tell me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Well done, Malaika. Malaika says that we can be caring by drawing a picture for someone. We can give them a nice big snuggle. We can also just pray for someone. That is how we can show care for other people. Well done, Malaika. And Malaika, chosen people are caring, right? Yes. Well, that's all that we have for today. Remember, boys and girls, that chosen people are caring. Bye boys and girls, see you next week.